Tennessee drivers share the roads with vehicles of all types. There are semi-trucks, pickup trucks, cars and vans, emergency vehicles, motorcycles, and even skateboards. We also share the roads with all different types of pedestrians, on foot, in wheelchairs or strollers, young and old, and everything in between. Never forget that. One, everyone has an equal right to use the road. Simply because you're in a car or truck and another road user is on a bike doesn't mean that you have any more right to use the roadway than the other road user. Number two, everyone has equal responsibility to abide by the laws and rules of the road. Just because you're more maneuverable on a motorcycle doesn't mean that you can ignore the rules of the road any more than a large vehicle can. And number three, you're responsible for the safety of all vulnerable road users. What do I mean by vulnerable road user? It means everyone who uses the road, but who does not have the extra protection of a vehicle shell around them as protection in the event of a crash. The more vulnerable, the more it's your duty to ensure their safety. If the other road user is a young child exiting a school bus, or someone who is visually impaired, or a road crew at work alongside the road, as a driver, you are responsible for their safety. Good driving habits include taking responsibility for your own safety and the safety of others. It also means being responsible for communicating your presence and your intentions and responsible for confirming what the other road users have understood. The previous lesson mentioned briefly some ways to communicate effectively with other road users. There are a variety of ways to do this. For example, by following the rules for safe and legal turns covered in the previous slide, which means getting into the proper lane and signaling early. You can also make eye contact, and where that fails, moderate use of your horn or a quick flip of the headlights can get the attention of the road users. All the tools of defensive driving, including scanning, anticipating road conditions, knowing signs and signals, are all ways to communicate and allow other road users to anticipate and respond. Emergency flashers are another way to communicate when there is doubt that other road users will be able to respond in time without the additional warning, such as in heavy fog or when you have a flat tire. When it comes down to this, the more road users can let each other know their intentions, the less likely there will be a collision. Communication and recognition are the best ways to share the road is based on simple principles, but becomes complicated in practice. So let's look at how to communicate and share the road effectively with a variety of other road users.